From my perspective, the challenge of asthma research is service delivery. So it's how better to deploy the, the medications we currently have to meet the needs of our patients. Currently, um, the evidence would suggest that the, the workforce in primary care, and actually quite a lot of the workforce in secondary care, um, have quite marked educational requirements in order to meet their patients' needs. And unless these educational needs are met, then the doctors won't always make the right decisions for the patients. So in particularly tightening up on diagnosis, which needs probably to be made over a series of visits rather than just in one visit, so they can put all the pieces of the jigsaw into place over a period of time. They're rarely in place, all in place on the first visit. So I think that research, that that research needs to be done about service provision, but also further research needs to be done on how to support the patient or helping the patient to support themselves, and that may be in the realms of mHealth or eHealth or charities. Clearly, many of my colleagues uh, would, would think we need to research this molecule or that pathway or the other pathway, but we have a, a rich therapeutic armamentarium available to us, which is currently underused or sometimes inappropriately used. We're not there yet. Um, most apps which have been launched haven't shown durability. We don't know why that is. Most apps which have been launched haven't incorporated patients in patient in designing the app. So they've been designed by, by, by people who love technology or they've been designed by clinicians who think they know what patients want. But actually, we only know what patients want when they tell us what they want or what they need. So it has to be a tripartite uh, meeting of minds to come up with a proper app to enable people to d develop properly. And patients need to be able to use and choose within an app what they, they want to take on board and what they don't. So everybody with asthma is different. They've all got their own specific needs as well as generic needs. So the app should demonstrate some adaptability or provide some adaptability for the patient to use it as they want. Because what we haven't clearly got at the moment is we talk about medication adherence, but nobody's properly studied app adherence. What are the features that get a patient to start using an app and to continue using an app? And if they want to continue using an app, it may well be that patients use an app for a short period of time and they learn how to control their disease and they don't see the need to use it anymore. And that's perfectly fine. But other people may want to use it for a much longer period of time. We needn't necessarily think that the patient needs to use the app every single day in order to demonstrate that they're using the app properly.